Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I make my delicious homemade chicken salad. This recipe is very, very fitting for the summertime. It's very hot. And this was a really delicious recipe. It did not require a lot of work, y'all, and it was so good. So I have here one rib of celery and I'm just dicing this down very fine and I will do the same for this white onion that you see here. This was about a quarter of a medium onion that I chopped. Here I have a store-bought rotisserie chicken. This was a garlic and herb flavor. It was about two pounds. So you can go to the grocery store and you can buy yourself a, um, a rotisserie chicken, okay? So this will cut back on you having to do a lot of work in the kitchen and you know, with it being so hot right now, you don't have to worry about running your stove. So that's why like I'm all for ways to get things done easier okay if you would prefer to roast a chicken yourself that's perfectly fine just make sure that you season it really really good okay here i am just um tearing the skin off of the chicken i'm also going to tear the meat off of the bones and if i come across any small fatty pieces i will get rid of that as well just want meat meat and more meat no skin no fat no bones okay i've measured out a quarter cup of those diced onions and i'm also going to measure out a quarter cup of the celery one teaspoon of dijon mustard and I'm gonna season this with a little garlic salt and garlic powder, okay? And I'm just gonna season this to taste. I also added some black pepper as well. Okay, then I'm gonna give this a quick toss. So next I will be adding my mayonnaise. So I'm using Duke's mayo. You can use Duke's or you can use uh, whatever mayonnaise you prefer. Duke's mayonnaise um, does have a lot of, you know, tanginess to it. And so that was the flavor that I was going for here. All right, and I only started out with about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So it's very important that you don't add too much mayo at once, okay? You wanna gradually add in that mayonnaise. You don't want your chicken salad to um, have way too much mayonnaise. You don't want it to be swimming in mayonnaise, but then you also don't want it to be too dry okay so that's why you want to start small you want to gradually add more as needed to get it up to the consistency that you like all right make sure you have a clean spoon handy and you want to taste your chicken salad and you can make any adjustments with your seasonings so as you can see, I added a little more garlic salt. I added more mayonnaise. Now I'm also adding another teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So my chicken salad was very savory and it was very, very delicious, just how I like it. Now, if you don't want your chicken salad to be as savory, you know, if you might want it to have a, a hint of sweetness, you could always add um, some relish. You can do Miracle Whip, all right? I always use Miracle Whip in my tuna. I use it in um, my potato salad, but this time around, I did not want any sweet whatsoever in the chicken salad. But yeah, that's an option for you. You could also do a little sugar, you know, just to give it that balance that you might want, all right? So here I've built a delicious sandwich and this came together very, very good. I hope y'all will give it a try. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this recipe. Let me know if you're going to try it. And if so, let me know how yours turned out. Okay. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video.